Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me how to use the envelope tool to put it in this space. And it's two lines of text, and you can't use text to path as easily. It might work, but I've never tried it. And just for the one I'm doing this for, I cleaned up your ribbon a little bit. I did not do the top yet. Uh, that's going to look pretty bad. And that's an easy fix. Uh, just take your shape tool and grab. He just recently traced this, I know, because I would help him to, with another item. So just grab that and make, you know, get your virtual segment delete key and delete these two lines and then just start cleaning this stuff up. And you can reroute some of these uh, nodes. And that already looks better. And then just take your smooth tool and smooth some of this stuff out. Doesn't take just a second to make it look a lot better. Anyway, and if you didn't watch the first video about how to put those, evidently he's a printer. And I don't know if he's going to fill this in with black, but that's the way I would do it. But anyway, how do you make an envelope tool out of this envelope? And you can see there's a little bit more. Um, let's get the shape tool and get rid of some of these nodes and make the envelope look a little bit better. So you need to kind of pretty that up. Now let's get the smart fill tool and fill this in. And let's nudge it over a couple of times. Let's left click and right click. My suggestion is go to effects and contour. Contour the inside, point one. <clears throat> Break the contour apart. Whoop, must have had the pick tool or the. Now we got a new envelope. Take your wordage, open the envelope tool under effects, envelope, put a new container, and there you have a new envelope shape. And if we move it to our new envelope, we can nudge it right back because we haven't changed anything. And and the reason I'm doing that, okay, we've got a nudge factor set on three. Let's uh, nudge this up a little bit. And you can see I got the curve, and I don't want the curve. I want the two objects. Well, because we do not want to move. There we go. We don't want to move the red box. I'm just nudging that up a little bit where it's perfect. Now... We can move the red box and delete it, and we can nut. Whoop. If you ever hit a button and you nudge that point zero one, just go back. So we need to change this to three inches. And now we can nudge this up and over. Now you have that exactly in the center text of, or text the path in a way, but it's envelope tool. And I would seriously think about doing that to your graphic. And when you put those stars and stripes in there, it'll look pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.